In this video, I'm gonna tell you about how I was able to get out of the house and take a little road trip to see the tap dancer extraordinaire, Savion Glover, perform. If you're new to my channel, first, welcome. And here you're gonna find videos on movie reviews, parenting, and just general life update videos. If you wanna see more of that and don't wanna miss anything, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it. In the comments below, let me know if you've gone to see any kind of live dance performance, and if you have, what style of dance was it? I do have a little bit of a dance background. I started dance when I was about seven and did it for about 20 years and then took a break and then did it on and off for another five or so. I started off with ballet and tap and I felt that ballet was a little bit too slow for me. So the next year my mom put me in jazz and tap, which I liked a whole lot more. And the plan is in this coming September, I would like to enroll back in tap because watching Savion was uh, such an inspiration for me to get back to it. So as an adult, they don't split the class up into two different styles. So you take one style for the whole hour. So I used to take it actually with my mom and my aunt. So the three of us for many years did tap class together and did recitals together. And those were so much fun. Like it was just really nice to have that different kind of bonding with my mom and my aunt. And I'm sure um, like from my mom's perspective, it was really fun to be dancing with her daughter after sitting in so many recitals for so many years watching me on stage you know she got to be a part of that and that's something I hope to do with my girls one day if that's something that they're interested in I have to say as much as I needed to get out of the house and do something it was really a struggle for me Everly is almost eight months old now and I really haven't done too much out of the house or anything outside of just taking care of the girls so it definitely was needed for me but along with that came a lot of anxiety which is something I've just been kind of struggling with for the past few months I've continued with my meditation. It's something I've been working on with my therapist. And I've also been talking to my friend Scott, who's a hypnotherapist, and he's given me a lot of tools to help me work through it when it hits. And you can take a look at the link above for more information about him, because I've talked about him before in some other videos. And I'll also add his contact information in the description below if you wanna look into that a little bit further. One of the biggest things that I was struggling with is that, like I said, Everly's eight months old and she still will not take a bottle. And she's also not really that into solids yet. So seeing as I'm the only one that can feed her, it definitely stressed me out that I was gonna be gone for such a long time. But my husband said, look, she'll be fine. She's not gonna starve. I'll have her, don't even worry about it, just go and have a good time. And she does eat, you know, these little puff things. So he's like, if worse comes to worse, I can feed her those, it'll hold her over until you get home. So that helped a little bit knowing she could have a little bit of a snack and that my husband was here to just kind of hang out with her until I got home. So taking a night out for myself also meant going off of my routine, which is something I thrive on. But it was something I knew I had to do because I do need to learn to become more flexible. And this was something I was much better at, honestly, before I had kids. Since I've had kids, so much of my time is spent on their schedule, especially also now that Harper is in preschool, we sort of have to stick to that routine. But I feel like I'm so rigid in what I do. And this was going completely against all of that. And that was stressing me out a little bit too. And lastly is just pure exhaustion. This is something I've really been struggling with. It's been really, really hard. And I knew being out late, I probably wasn't gonna get home until midnight. The next morning, I had a mommy and me tea at Harper's school. And between the girls really being terrible with their naps, I knew I wouldn't be able to catch up the next day on any kind of rest or sleep. So that was also stressing me out to know that I was gonna be even more exhausted than I already am. But at the same time, I didn't want that to deter me. So I just sort of figured, all right, I'm gonna be tired and that's just the way it is. And luckily we had a weekend coming up, so I figured I could sort of take it a little bit more easy once the weekend hit. All right, someone's getting a little fussy, so she's jumping in on this video with me, right? Yeah. Some of the things that I did to help work through my anxieties were uh, self-talk. I did a lot of that. And just trying to tell myself, look, you're gonna have fun. You need to do this. You need to get out of the house. And a lot of what I did was visualization. And a lot of that I learned through meditation, but a lot of it I learned through my friend Scott, like I said, who's a hypnotherapist. So he gave me some really good visuals that I utilized a lot in the coming uh, week up before going to see Savion. And even right before I left, 
left. I did some meditation to help me kind of relax. I was feeling pretty jittery actually. And that really helped kind of slow my heart rate down and calm down a little bit. So having said all that, I ended up having a really good time. And I went with my mom and my aunt and we've the three of us have gone to see Savion before. So it was really fun for the three of us to go again. And we had awesome seats. I think we were about fifth from the stage. So we had a really good view of his feet, which I just couldn't take my eyes off almost the entire time. Savion Glover is a tap dancer, a phenomenal tap dancer. And when he was little, he actually performed on Sesame Street. And he's also performed with Greg Gregory Hines, who's also a legendary tap dancer. And he was also Mumble in the movie Happy Feet. So Elijah Wood voiced Mumble, but Savion was actually the dancing behind it. So he did all the choreography and th those were all his moves. I'm best uh, expressed through the feet, just like Mumble. <laughs> we wanted his very distinct style to sort of mark Mumble out as a an individual and as an artist in himself. I mean, Savion's an artist and in his own way, Mumble is an artist. So next time you watch that movie, you have a little bit more insight as to where the dancing came from. So he has, I think it's a six piece funk band that performs with him, which were also phenomenal. Man, to watch him just play off of the musicians was so cool. It was just really, really cool. And they also played off of him and his taps. He's so good. He's perform been performing for over 30 years and God, he's just so phenomenal. If you ever get a chance to see him, definitely do it. He just looked so relaxed on stage that it looked like he could have just gone up there and just performed because he loved it, which is which is basically what he did. He had a smile on his face the entire hour and 40 minutes that he performed. I struggled doing that on stage when I have to perform a two minute song, but he just looked like he loved it. And honestly, it was incredibly motivating to see that because I'd love to find something like that for myself where you just smile the whole time that you're doing that. Despite my anxieties and worries about the night, I'm so glad that I went, it was so worth it. And I think in a way, moving forward with anxiety, it can help because it showed, you know, look, you went out of your comfort zone, you were tired, but you still had a good time. And when I got home, Everly was totally fine. So it was really, really good for me to get out and spend some time with my mom and my aunt, seeing somebody that we really, really love. So it's been really great being back to making a video. I, I know it's been a long time and I knew I wanted to make this video as soon as I went to go see Savion because I wanted to talk about it because I knew he'd be amazing, which he was. So it's been really good to get back to making videos and I'm, I'm really gonna try to make this a more regular thing now. If you want to see more movie reviews, parenting, and just life update videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.